welcome back to our channel. Uh, celebration season's coming to an end and we've got a new name for our channel. We're pretty sure of our content that we want to do. We're still going to uh, do what we've been doing lately. It's just going to be a different name and it's going to be Easy Eats with Aunties. Oh, was that again? Easy Eats with Aunties. So that's our new name for the channel. Uh, we're still going to run our family and still do our, our various sports and go and have fun. But we're always going to have uh, uh, a meal or a quick snack or some little food review. But we're still going to um, do what we, we've been doing lately. We're just pretty sure of our content. And like I said, um, that's our new name. So I hope you like it. Today we are making furikake rice. Um, Korean style kind of fried chicken. Absolutely delicious. And um, nice coleslaw, some kimchi to go on the side. And that's our feed for today. Okay, here are all our ingredients we'll be using for today. If you look down here, we've got some, wow, well, this is for the rice. Furikake rice, oh jeez. Okay, lightly toasted um, sesame seeds here. Lightly toasted, you know, just um, um, until they became fragrant. That's when I stopped uh, browning them. Uh, bonito flakes and some. Um, if you ever wonder what to do with your leftover sheets of uh, nori for making sushi, this is a good way to use them up. You know, when you get odd numbers like maybe three or four sheets, and it's not enough for everyone to have sushi will make the seasoning, uh, furikake or rice seasoning that my boy from Hawaii um, showed me how to make. Uh, mm. And for our fried chicken, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna use these ingredients. So we've got corn flour, plain flour, um, our sugars for that part here. This is our ingredients. <laughs> Organized ingredients. <laughs> Fish sauce. This is the Thai brand. Um, I was uh, recommended this. Uh, different flavor they reckon, so I can't wait to try this, this um, fish sauce. And salt, corn flour, I, I already said that eh? Okay, sorry. Um, and gochujang. This is a um, Korean bean curd. This will be the base of our sauced um, fried chicken. So I'm gonna leave half the fried chicken plain and half the chicken Sauce and spicy because uh, you know adults uh, like the spice, but the kids still they don't want any sauce on their their chicken. I've got um, about five kilos of chicken sitting in here. Overnight, this is an overnight brine. So salt, water, and cut up garlic. I just half the garlic and um, chucked it in. I won't be cooking or using any of that garlic. It's just the uh, flavor. It's used the, um, the chicken overnight and it's gonna be nice and tender. This rice, really good to use. Real cheap, seven, $7.99, eight bucks for this. Compared to the white uh, the, um, uh short grain rice, it's about 12 or 13 bucks a pack and save. But I see a lot of a lot of these packets. It's only seven bucks, and and uh, the grains are smaller. They're, they're, um, they're a lot nicer, I reckon, and a lot cheaper. So uh, give this a go. Also, what I did earlier was make uh, a coleslaw. So in this container here, a coleslaw I made earlier, just sitting, and, and I've already dressed it, so um, be nice and chilled. By the time it's time to eat our fried chicken, so I'll leave this in the fridge. But if you want the recipe for this, I'll link the uh, the video. Okay, for our furikake or rice seasoning, like my uh, boy from Hawaii uh, showed me, this is our ingredients right here. So we've got seaweed, um, bonito flake, uh, sugar, and sesame seeds that are uh, lightly toasted, light brown. Uh, I could have gone further than this, but I didn't want to burn them. And uh, yeah, I'll stop right there. Light brown, light toast. So that's it. That's how we're going to make our 
furikake rice seasoning for our rice. I've got my niece, Faithy, covering the camera uh, responsibilities for now. But anyway, I've got these uh, furikake packets. I'm just gonna open. These are just dried um, bonito tuna, tuna flakes. Really flavorful. Good to chuck on top of um, your noodles or whatever you're cooking. It's, it's nice when you check it on something hot, you'll see everything kind of like a, like a dance, everything kind of, kind of wavy, <laughs> cool, and really, really uh, flavorful. But what I'm doing with it right now, I'm going to sweeten and um, season these dry bonito flakes. And then we're going to mix them with the toasted sesame seeds that we had already. You can smell their name. Yeah, you can smell it. You can smell that hard wood, wood kind of flavor. Camera person is back in from dealing with the uh, tow trucker guy. Stupid cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. What happened? What sort of thing? Uh, just have to get the people to come and the car and give us a new one to Ah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> I'm just showing the that and that. Yeah. You can just do like a packet. You see the bonito flakes kind of moving. Cool, eh? Go on with a tablespoon of salt. A tablespoon of sugar. And let that melt in. Once that's in, then you just mix everything together. Oh wait, first you've got to toast the, um, oh we'll get to that too. Just so it's kind of uh, stiffens up, see how it's still a bit floppy right now. Okay, green tea. I like it like this. Some people fold it up, fold it up, and, and cut into small pieces, but I like the unevenness of um, uh, the nori weave when it's like this. Do about four of them. Now I'm going to mix in about half a cup of sesame seeds, and I'll reserve that for the chicken later on. So just mix it up, and that should be done. It can last for ages. It's, it's all dry. Oh, okay. This whole mixture is dry. So it's just like you shake it on your rice? Yes, yeah. Oh. Usually just rice, but I've seen some people put it on chick cereal. I, I don't know if I'll ever try that, but yeah. Some people put it on their chicken or, or whatever um, meat dish they're making rice and you've got nothing else to eat with it so you just try to season up your rice to make it a meal yeah yeah for sure yeah some people yeah we, we used to do that my cousin used to do that like um before if there was no dinner at the house so, oh yeah rice sprinkle this stuff on it dinner, done dinner done eh? yeah dinner done done skis spilt a bit but okay Furikake, for the furikake, rice seasoning, all done. Store it in the pantry or leave it on the table and good to go. Okay, I've got my chicken here. I've drained and discarded all the garlic water that um, was in. And I'm about to go in with about eight to 10 tablespoons of fish sauce. And then uh, corn flour and flour mix, and we're gonna set that aside. So yeah, this is how I would usually make um, 
uh, my fried chicken, my fast way. All these steps, except for maybe the corn flour. I don't usually get corn flour, but um, I ha I've used it in the past and it gives a nice crunch, but yeah, I don't uh, always have it. But I always want plain flour. So the usual uh, fried chicken that I do at home is, um, I always got fish sauce, so I always marinating in fish sauce and um, and some kind of mix of plain flour. I got a, a, a wet batter, then into uh, seasoning flour. Um, yeah, that's how I, I would usually do it, but I want to go all out today because I really want to taste. Um, I miss the taste of, I, I've done sauced up fried chicken in the past before, and um, I don't usually do it because it takes so many steps. And I'm usually cooking like this because even today, uh, there, there'll be about 10, 10 of us here. So for this to be sourced up, man, it takes ages. So I usually don't get to that um, sourcing up stage. Mm. Man, you can smell the- It's strong, eh? Yeah. The fish sauce, it's a lot more pungent than um, the usual fish uh, sauce that I use. This is, a, this is a Thai fish sauce from Thailand. Yeah, the one I usually use is a Vietnamese one. If I was to use one kilo, it would be around four tablespoons of um, fish sauce. Shot. Where's the rest of them? So yeah, uh, 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 one kilo of chicken, about four tablespoons. So I got five times whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but heaps. We're going with a, about a cup and a half of corn flour and about half a cup of flour. Plain flour. Yeah, plain flour. Plain all purpose flour. Yep. Give that a good mix and go on with my clean hand. Once your chicken's mixed in and looks like this, check it in the oh, cover, check it in the fridge. Okay, we're ready to dredge our chicken and start frying. We've got here uh, dry seasoning. Well, actually, it's not uh, seasoning flour. There's no salt or pepper in this. It's just um, a one to one ratio of uh, plain flour and corn flour. So, I've got three cups all purpose plain flour. Mm -hmm. and three cups of corn flour. So yeah, I'm gonna go in. Heaps of flavor in this, no need to season um, this flour. And plus, I'm also sourcing. So I'm gonna take a piece, put it in here, shake off the excess. Put it on the side. I like to have some set plates going in. Coming out soon. All right, now for the sauce of this um, 
fried chicken. We've got some gochujang, which is like a hot pepper paste, a Korean hot pepper paste. Uh, that will probably be the main flavor of the sauce. Everything else is pretty much, um, I don't know, up to you. Uh, optional, that's it. It's optional if you want to use it. So I've got some maple syrup, raw sugar, garlic powder, um, soy dark soy sauce, but preferably light soy sauce, but I, I'm all out. I'll run out. And preferably honey, but run out. <laughs> so yeah, well, I'm using, going to use the syrup here. Maple syrup. Wow, what does it say? Maple flavored syrup. So <laughs> it's more just a plain sugar syrup. Or maple flavor. Tomato sauce or ketchup. And this is totally optional. This is cashmere chili. Uh, I, you know, when I make stuff that's in a red color, uh, I like to deepen that red color. And that's what cashmere chili does. Uh, gives that really nice deep red color and uh, a slight hint of a chili, chili taste, but yeah, that's it. Oh, other than raw garlic and um, chili going into the pan, that's it. That's all the ingredients. Hi, uh, <laughs> and, and and butter. But you'll see that uh, when I, when I cook it later. Can it be any sugar, though? Eh? Uh, yeah, any sugar. I think. Raw sugar is the best. It won't burn easier. I mean, the lighter the color of the sugar, the faster it'll burn. Mm. But it's up to you to control that. Mmm, strong smell. Oh, it's soybean. Yeah, soybean paste. But then it's mixed in with um, all the other flavors. Do you have any measurements here? Or? Yeah, yeah, all measurements <laughs> will be in the description box. But don't mind me, I'm a freestyler. <laughs> but I'll put all the measurements into the description box because I'm not all. I'm slightly off when I'm describing measurements. Uh, oh, that's a watery tomato sauce. So this is what's meant to be honey. Yeah. <laughs> If I had some chili flakes, I'll put in chili flakes as well, but... Is it all done? Yeah, that's it. Jeez. Mix it till it's uh, incorporated. Set it aside. Just save it. Professional. How brown is it? Okay. Brown? Okay, right now we're... Um, I've got a whole bulb, bulb of garlic here, and... I'm going to crush it up with um, some raw chili. Yeah, if you haven't got one of these, use your knife. But I love this thing. I feel there's more flavor when you crush it into it. Mm. Okay, going in with my frozen chili. Uh, a little light today, it's not only me eating, so I'm not going to go crazy with the chili today. Thank goodness. <laughs> That cook for uh, low, low heat, low to medium. I'm just going to turn it up. Mark four on my oven, but I don't know what uh, anyone else's oven is like. But it's just, just bubbling. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, okay, going in with our sauce we made earlier. I cook this till the sugar um, dissolves. No country bits uh, throughout the sauce. We can kind of hear the um, sugar, um, you know, not crunchy anymore. And yep, it's ready to put the chicken in. Now I'm going to put half the chicken in and um, leave the other half plain for the kids. been cooking long enough. I'm about to go on with the chicken. Just talking over camera person over here. 
I want to put them to thighs because the kids like the drumsticks plain. But yeah, I don't know. Some people want uh, drumsticks covered in the sauce too. So I'm doing half and half. No. Awesome, so that's why I wanted small pieces, it's easier to <laughs> sauce, but um, Ernest doesn't want to give up his thighs. <laughs> hey, you can leave it on low, but I've turned it off so it um, doesn't oh, burn. Oh, we try to sort out what pieces to throw in. Confused me, see? Now, now I can't get an even stir. <laughs> there are various pieces in here. I told you, put in the small pieces. He just dies. No, look. I'm sure you can all relate with the husbands that don't listen and then go the hard way. There we go, guys. All done. Uh, just finishing touches now. We've got our food ready to go. And I'm going to put these roasted sesame seeds that I left aside. I'm going to put them on right now. And I'm going to use our furikake on the rice. So here we go. Um, kind of mix it into your rice. But this is how my voice is. I see some people just uh, dig in straight away. But yeah, I like to mix it in. Mm. Man, you get that um, tasty sesame seed smell just by moving it around here. Mm. And even the uh, nori seaweed. Seaweed cheeks, me. Mm. Mm. Cut. 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 Yo. Yo. I thought it was under season, but once you hit a bonita flake, bam. You get that um, seafood flavor plus um, uh, the smoky flavor of the bonita flake. Seasons it just right. Beauty. Alright, let's go into the chicken here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, crunchy. See that, guys? Taking it too fast to your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Mmm. <laughs> Not being biased. That's beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Hold on. Sorry, I got a little, a little cough to the side. Because the spice, the spice is awesome, just right. Uh, it's nice and fiery, it's sweet, and man, it's, it's crispy. It's also got that nice sauce on the outside. It's just perfect flavor. Sauce stuff, and man, everyone is ready to eat. Hurry up and test your coleslaw. That's what we can eat. Everyone knows this is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, I want to get everyone here and uh, we're gonna eat together. And that's us.